Well, hello, Ultra Racing fans, and welcome to Ultra Racing Network's coverage of the 2014 Silver State 508. I'm your host, Jarek Wilhelmsen. Well, the race has begun. Early this morning, solos and teams departed Reno, Nevada and headed east. So let's cut to the video and check it out. The solo field were the first ones up at 6.30 a.m. These racers were focused and ready to pedal. As we had the countdown and the solo field took off. One hour later, at 7.30 a.m., the teams arrived to the starting line. We got a moment to ask a few riders about their pre-starting line and post-race rituals. Uh, at the end, a nice big pizza and a couple of beers. Okay. That's why I ride. Ultimate uh, uh, during cycling food is pizza. Pizza, salt, carbs, tastes great. Warm, cold. Start the race eating pizza. Eat it in the car on the way until you run out of it. It's great stuff. We had the national anthem, and then the teams were off, and the 2014 508 was in full effect. On the way to Time Station 1, the first thing the riders experience is a 2,000-foot climb to Geiger Summit before they arrive in the historic mining town of Virginia City. I'm away. Turn left. All right, thank you. There, race volunteers help riders navigate a few turns and then send them down into Six Mile Canyon, where they're on their way to meet their crews at the intersection of Highway 50. At that junction of Highway 50, crews gathered and waited for the riders to come out of Six Mile Canyon. Since it's a bit of a wait, crews got a chance to unwind a bit and interact with each other. <laughs> Now once past this junction, riders moved along Highway 50 to the first time station in Silver Springs. Here, riders call out their totems as they check in with officials. What's your name? And they get a chance to interact with their crews. For the teams, this is the location of their first handoff of the baton as the second shift comes on. Past Time Station 1, we were on a mission to catch the front runners. On the way to find them, we caught several riders getting into the groove and jockeying for position. Shortly after passing Time Station 2 and Fallen, we caught up with the second place female, Shauna Hogan, who is recovering from a knee injury, was very well. Good. I mean, the, the thing that's sore, the, mu the muscles, because the muscles aren't as strong as they were. So I've got... Um, some improvement to be made when the muscles get bigger. Ahead of her was Sarah Cooper, the spotted horse. We caught up to her as her crew restocked her nutrition and got her back on the road. She was feeling good with how she was doing. A bit further ahead, we caught up to Dave Hossie, the Holstein, who had a wrong turn that set him behind a bit. He didn't let that discourage him as he maintained a good speed and held third place. Yeah, I'm sitting pretty solid, pretty fast pace. Up ahead, holding second, was Adam Bickett, the Rock Rabbit, who noted the quick pace at the front. It's good. Of course it's fast. And at the front of the pack was Marco Ballo, the Tweety Bird, who was pushing the pace. He took off strong up Geiger Summit and has been maintaining the lead.
Well, as you can see, it's been a great start and a quick pace as these riders are here to race. To see the most up-to-date race standings, check out the 508 website at the508.com and make sure to follow us on social media. On Facebook, you can find us at Ultra Racing Network. On Twitter, at Ultra Race Report. And check out our webpage at www.ultraracingnetwork.com. Well, that's it for the second Ultra Race Report. Keep checking back with us to see how this showdown unfolds. And until then, we'll see you out there.